Good morning. I'm George Dean, the president and CEO of the Greater Phoenix Urban League, a leading provider of human services in the Valley, and you are watching Urban Connections. For those of you who might be tuning in for the first time, you need to know that Urban Connections came about through an agreement with the Greater Phoenix Urban League and Channel 3. They would bring you a program at least once each month to talk about various issues, situations, concerns, conditions, and so forth that are taking place not only here locally, but statewide and indeed nationwide. And I'm very pleased that that's what we're going to do today. I know that this is already, we are into the second month of 2018, and we usually do this in the first month, but uh, we're going to re-look at 2017, the top 10 stories that I have as my guest this morning, someone you are familiar with, uh, publisher, co-chair, co-publisher and co and chairman of the Arizona Informant Clovis Campbell Jr. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. Here's the deal. Church's new shrimp and tenders platter with any two sides and a biscuit made from scratch for five bucks. No joke. It's only five bucks for all of this. Here's the deal. Only at churches. I'm Russell Shaw with Realty One Group. For years, I've been telling you, we help more home sellers sell, offer flexible commissions, the right to sell it yourself, and if you're not happy, fire me. Let my results speak. Over asking cash offer within eight hours of listing. Full price in three days. Two properties in two years, each sold in less than a week. I'm not bragging. I'm applying for a job. I want to be your realtor. Call 602-957-7777. Thank you. Hi, we're here today with Tom Mello, owner of A1 Garage. Tom, why should I replace my garage door? That's a great question. Most home builders install low-end garage doors. However, at A1 Garage, we transform your home with a new, beautiful designer garage door that will dramatically improve your home's curb appeal by up to 40%. Great. So what makes A1 Garage different? Well, for starters, we never use subcontractors. We have incredible customer service ratings, and we only use the highest quality products backed by the best warranty warranties in the industry. And right now, A1 Garage Door is offering a tremendous deal. For a limited time, receive a free Whisper Drive Garage Door Opener with two remotes and a wireless keypad installed with every new garage door purchase. Call for your free in-home design consultation. Serving all of Maricopa County and Northern Arizona. Call 602-341-3906. That's 602-341-3906. Here's the deal. Our shrimp is just like everything we do. Lots of food with lots of flavor for not a lot of money. That's what's in our new church's shrimp and tenders platter with any two sides and a biscuit for five bucks. Here's the deal. Only at churches. Welcome back. George Dean, president and CEO of the Greater Phoenix Urban League, a leader provider of human services in the Valley. You're watching Urban Connections, and I'm very pleased to have as my guest Clovis Campbell, Jr., the co-publisher and chairman of the board of the Arizona Informer, a weekly newspaper that's been around now for some 46 years 46 here in years, Arizona, yeah. and a newspaper that say, what, 98 percent? How does that... 98 percent of the news you read in our publication, you won't see anywhere else. You won't see any place else. Right. That means <laughs> that you're talking about some very important things, and... Uh, People need to read the Arizona Informer. Absolutely. Too. Good news that you probably wouldn't see anyplace else, but we make sure we get it to. All right. All right. And what we're going to talk about is what went on in 2017 and some of the things that uh, taking place in 2018. And we got a big event coming up. Uh, the Black Rodeo's coming up in a few months and so forth. So stay tuned. And Clovis, let us get right into what's going on. Number, Number 10. Number 10. Uh, President Donald Trump. Uh, he's been in the news <laughs> since he got elected back in 2016, and he's continued to do some hot stuff now. But he started off his he started off his inauguration by lying about the attendance that he had at the actual inauguration. Okay. So he claimed that it was the largest inauguration in the history of any president. Yet there were so many empty seats that you would have thought the the Cleveland Browns were playing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. My goodness, man. <laughs> 
And I understand that that uh, some other news outlet have said that they have counted over 2,000 lies that he has told during the whole year of 2017. Yeah, that's, that's just he the started one this in January, but it just kept going on through the well, year. Well, 2,000 lies for some people is a <laughs> lifetime, but that's just one year for the president. So, <laughs> yeah. unfortunately, we have to continue to put up with it, but uh, hopefully he'll, he'll change his ways and start doing something meaningful. Hopefully. Yes, sir. All right, number nine. Uh, Deborah Lee was the president and CEO of BET, and she is stepping down to do some other things, but they're still being going to be run by some other African Americans, but she's stepping down after several years of okay. being part owner of BET. And well. BET was the, is the black-owned uh, television, first mm -hmm. black-owned television station uh, that went, had a nationwide audience and so forth. And, uh, yeah, black entertainment television black started entertainment by uh, television. Bob Johnson. Yeah. And he sold off to do some other things, so it's moving, it's shift, shifting back and forth, so we'll wait and see what happens next. Okay. Number eight. Number eight, uh, Governor Ducey. Uh, been busy uh, and, and we're doing some things and he signed in the law the expansion of the state uh, empowerment scholarship account program uh, this law basically allows uh, students to use taxpayer money to go to private school instead of having to go to public school mm -hmm. and other expenses uh, utilized for education mm -hmm. but that's uh, that, that 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 has been a lot of controversy concerning that I know the governor signed it into law but uh, there have been a group, a grassroots group, I think it's called Save Our Schools. Correct, correct. And they got over 75,000 signatures that, that, I mean, the experts thought that this would never happen, yeah. that they could do that, but they got over 75 to have this on the ballot this year. Well, you know, there's a big fight going on between public and private schools and making sure that it's fair on both sides. Now, you know, mm -hmm. there's an argument for both, I think. Uh, as, the, as everything's changed, the, the uh, teaching and educational system should move with the time. So we're looking to think that maybe this is a good thing, maybe it's not, only time will tell. Okay, okay, but uh, when you say every student can go to private schools, I mm -hmm. mean, when you have money for private schools, there's a cap on how much money that can go, and that's not enough to really take care of tuition for private schools well, in most instances. Yeah, so and, and that's the thing. Low-income students still won't be able to take advantage of that. Correct. You know, they'll have to add some money to it. Right. But for those students who have those resources, they can get additional uh, educational opportunities. Just giving the parents a break. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> All right. Number seven. Well, our, our, our good friend, uh, Sheriff Joe, who, who lost his last election and, uh, and decided he was going to try to run for state and U.S. Senate, was also convicted of criminal contempt charges okay. and was getting prepared to go to jail until uh, President Trump pardoned him. And that was back in July. That, uh, mm. Sheriff Joe. Well, you know, that, that is... 24 years as a sheriff yes. got convicted for criminal contempt. Yes, for uh, the way he handled some of the immigration issues and things. Okay. And so uh, basically what happened is that even before it was over with, President Trump had already said he was going to pardon him. So it was just a matter of time. As soon as they got the conviction, a few days later he was pardoned. Not, not even sentenced. He, was, he did that before he was even sentenced. I believe so. Yeah. I believe so. Well, you know, it's good to have friends in high places. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and he's now running for U.S. Senate. He claims to be running for U.S. Senate. He's got his campaign rolling up, and, uh, he, and he's 85, 86 years old. Right. So usually you replace a senator with somebody younger. Right. But in his case, we're going the other way. He, and he's running for Jeff Flake's seat. Yes. And Jeff Flake is not even 60. No, no. Jeff Flake kind of <laughs> got fed up with everything, so he's moving on to something else. Maybe something may be happening with Jeff Flake later on. We'll wait and see. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, listen, we're going to take a short break, and we'll come back and... Uh, Finish up. This. Okay. Okay. Stay tuned. We'll be back. Learning is about more than just letters and numbers. Social and Emotional Learning, or SEL, teaches kids how to handle emotions, set goals, and make good decisions. Being able to understand the other's feelings helps grow relationship skills. Teaching children how to have healthy relationships provides a foundation for learning. Try this. Group children into pairs.
pictures and have them sit back to back. Give one a picture from a book and have them describe it to the other, who will draw a picture based on what they hear. Discuss with kids that what they hear doesn't always match what someone is trying to say. This is important to remember when someone hurts our feelings. Parents, caregivers, and teachers can ensure that social and emotional learning is an important part of a child's overall health and well-being. To find out more, visit First Book at firstbook.org slash SEL. First Book is a nonprofit organization providing all children with equal access to the books and resources they need to succeed. When you think of Miami, you think of, you know, rich, glamour, but five miles away from the beach, there's people who've never seen the beach. I was confused why somebody was in this situation, especially in America. So when I started Joshua's Heart Foundation, it was a key thing to be able to engage youth in the foundation, to help them participate. I think passing on the torch and lighting a new flame in another person to do good is probably the one of the bigger missions that I have. So we are each making a bigger difference. That's it, just giving back and producing love for everybody. Your local news with Brandon Lee, weeknights only on 3TV. Great weekend weather starts with Kim Quintero, only on 3TV. Welcome back. George Dean, President and CEO of the Greater Phoenix Urban League. You are watching Urban Connections, and I'm talking with Clovis Campbell Jr., the uh, co-publisher of the Arizona Informant and board chair. And we're talking about the top 10 things that for the Arizona Informant is concerned that took place in 2017. And we've gone through 10, 9, 8, 7, and we're now to number six. Number six. Number six. Uh, yeah, our, our senator, um, U.S. Senator John McCain, uh, revealed that he had a, a brain cancer. Okay. And uh, the tumor is not going well. And so uh, with that being said, a lot of things may happen in the political arena once he uh, is, leaves office. Okay. And so, um, you know, my opinion, and this is just my opinion, I, I think that... The governor has an opportunity to appoint someone to that seat. Uh, I think he'll appoint himself. But uh, and if that happens, then you got a full domino effect, starting with the governor's office, Michelle Reagan moving up, other people moving up the ranks, and a lot of people starting to shuffle and run for different offices. Okay, okay, and I think that that, uh, and I know that it's not a part of your top ten, mm -hmm. but there's a lot of things that have taken place. Uh, you mentioned the fact that Jeff Flake has decided not to run for re-election, mm -hmm. as is consequence of him dropping out you've got some other folks some people in congress that are that are ver representatives now that are running yes that yeah. announced in 2017 also yeah, you, you've got kirsten cinema talking yeah. about running for senate you have uh i think the martha mcsally martha mcsally yeah she's running for uh, senate as well so those seats that they have then come up as okay. well so like okay. i said a big domino effect going on you got some of our state legislators looking to move up the ranks into the uh into the congressional seats so a lot of shuffling going on just in the last two years or so and i think it's going to continue for another two years and we lost uh, another representative for sexual sexual charges and so forth and uh, yeah uh paul gozar he he uh he uh, also, trent franks trent franks i'm sorry trent yeah. franks is gone and so he's uh, he's left, and you know you never know what's going to happen. So a lot of people looking for some seats. Some people in the legislature now have been waiting for this to happen, and so they're uh -huh. getting their chance. So a lot of vacancies in the state legislature as well coming up. Wow, a lot of things going on politically. Yes, sir. So forth. And, uh, and 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 of course uh, with Senator McCain, uh, that's a uh, uh, very. In fact, he said the prognosis. Doctor said his prognosis was poor. Yeah, it, it is. But we're all praying for him. We're he's, definitely he's, praying for him. He's me. left a legend and so forth. We've got a good legacy, a great legacy here in Arizona. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, we hate to see this happen to him, so we're definitely praying for him. All right. Number five. Well, we're back to our president again. 
I think if you watch CNN or any other newscast, you'll see him every morning talking about something. But uh, this was his visit and a rally that they had here in Phoenix uh, back in August. Yeah. And uh, it actually was a pretty good rally. Everything went well, but I think some people in the media were looking to try to find something to happen. And uh, fortunately, we've got a great police chief here, Chief Jerry Williams, mm -hmm. who kind of made sure things didn't get out of hand. And she uh, kind of smoothed over anything that happened and, and, and may have happened before it had a chance to okay. you know, expand into something big. Okay. You know, some, some protesters had thrown rocks and bottles at some of the police officers. So the police officers retaliated by getting them out of there. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I think that, that, that everybody has to agree that it was a great job that the Phoenix police did. Absolutely, you know, absolutely. Nothing like some of those other rallies around the country. R right, right. And what happened in Charlottesville oh, and no. all of these places, people getting killed and so forth. Yeah, well, yeah, well Chief Williams made sure that it was going to be a well attended rally, but also well contained and let people express their opinion without any violence. So okay. she did a good job. Okay, very good, very good. Number four. Number four, I don't know how often you listen to the radio and get a chance to hear Tom Joyner, who's been on for over 25 years, has his crews. Well, he announced uh, that he's going to be stepping down in two years, so he gave us a little heads up. But okay. uh, he's been doing it for 25 years. They called him the Fly Jock because he would fly from one city to another to do his radio programs back in the early 90s. Uh, Icon on uh, here we can't get him, but you can get him on satellite radio. Okay. Uh, well, he's he's stepping down after 25 years. And that's uh, that's big. Tom Joyner. Tom Joyner uh, radio at least show. In the black community. Absolutely. African American he, community. He's well well known. He is the biggest uh, radio personality in the African American community. A uh, uh, Russ Limbaugh type, but uh, with a different philosophy. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> on opposite ends of the spectrum. Yeah, on opposite ends of the spectrum. <laughs> All right, number three. Well, we talked about, we've heard about a lot of this, uh, just sexual misconduct by a lot of our p politicians, celebrities, elected officials, what have you. Uh, two that come to mind nationally, African-American, are Russell Simmons and uh, Tavis Smiley. And then, of course, our guy in the state legislature here, Representative Shooter, was also accused of some sexual misconduct. But it's going around a lot lately. Okay, okay, that's... Uh that whole Me Too movement yes. has kicked off as a result of all of the different sexual harassments mm -hmm. that have gone on and so forth. In 2017, we also had uh, Bill Cosby. Well, his trial he ended up mistrial or yes, on jury or a something. mistrial, and they're thinking about trying to get him again. But in the meantime, uh, a lot of attention is going away from him because everybody else is coming up with these different stories. So uh, this thing continues to unfold. We'll see what happens. I mean, you never know whose name is going to come up next. Okay. And it's, it's the, once again, talking about our president, if you will, I understand <laughs> he's been accused over 19 times and nothing has happened to him. Well, you know, so far he's been pretty much Teflon. He can get away with what he wants to. Uh, but. You know, we'll see what happens. There are a lot of things are starting to come up, and it's only a matter of time before we see what the truth is. Okay. All right. Number two. Number two, uh, our local NAACP and the Maricopa County branch and, and then our state branch as well, the state conference, have been going at it, so to speak. And so we've been having some problems. Uh, you know, before we had our one president had to step down in the Maricopa County branch, Don Harris. So now uh, our current, well, our former current president, uh, Dr. Ann Hart, accused um, Charles Fennell, who's the state conference president, of uh, assault, mm -hmm. uh, which uh, they're still going to court now, uh, and we're waiting to see the outcome. Oh, wow. Okay. And finally, let's get to number one. Number one, uh, back at the NAACP again, I was uh, uh, President Hart, after she filed charges against um, Mr. Fennell, found out that uh, some of the members had filed some complaints against her in the national office. The national office reviewed those complaints and in November uh, sent her a letter suspending her and removing her from office and not being able to be a president for three years or be a member of the NAACP for three years. For three years? For three years. Wow. Okay, uh, that's one through ten. We're going to take a short break now. All right. And we'll, we'll be back. Stay tuned.
I came to Catalyst Pain Solutions because I couldn't walk. I was hobbling everywhere I went, and my daily activities were totally restricted. The knee replacement with the surgeon was not something I was looking forward to, and so I sought out Catalyst Pain Solutions. I understood that they could solve the problem of my knee without invasive surgery. They've made it possible that I can continue to ride horses. The difference is just so amazing. Visit CatalystPainSolutions.com. I want to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. I need to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. Why can't I eat, eat, eat apples and bananas? Support the Feeding America nationwide network of food banks to help provide meals to those in need. Join us at feedingamerica.org. George Dean, President and CEO of the Greater Phoenix Urban League, talking with Clovis Campbell, Jr., the uh, co-publisher and chairman for the Arizona Informant. And we've been talking about the top 10 stories uh, that took place in 2017. Uh, 10 was Donald Trump. Nine was Deborah Lee stepping down as president. 10 was Donald Trump lying about his inauguration attendance. Eight was Governor Ducey signing into law an expansion of the state Empowerment Scholarship Account Program. Seven was Sheriff Joe being convicted of criminal contempt. Six was Senator John McCain revealing that he has brain tumor. And five was President Trump and uh, the, the rally that he had here in Phoenix in August and the kind of uh, response that the Phoenix PD mm -hmm. put on, which was uh, uh, very good. Let's let's put it like that. They got an A for their effort Absolutely. and so forth. Uh, four was longtime black radio icon Tom John announced he's retiring in next year. Three is the sexual sexual misconduct by politicians and celebrities, including Representative Don Shooter and Tavis Smiler and Melissa yeah. Simmons. Two was the Maricopa County NAACP president and Dr. Hart filed charges against NAACP state president Charles Fennell. Mm -hmm. And one was Maricopa County president Dr. Ann Hart removed from office by the national NAACP. All right, that took care of 2017. Uh, 2018 now, we are already into the second month of 2018. and. I know you have an event coming up, the Black Rodeo, but what are some other significant things that have you seen taking place so far this year? Well, you know, in addition to the Black Rodeo coming up March the 10th, uh, there's also coming up the African American Legislative Conference at the state capitol. Okay. That'll be actually uh, next week, February the uh, 7th, 8th, and 9th. Uh, beginning on Wednesday and going through that th through Friday. Okay. Is now, the public invited to absolutely. that? Absolutely. It's a three-day conference. Everything is free. We'll have a prayer breakfast on Thursday, mo Thursday morning. We'll have uh, an opportunity to sit and talk with your legislators and eat lunch. And Friday, we'll have Unsung Hero Awards and a youth day as well at the, um, at the uh, Helen K. Mason Black Theater Troupe. Everything is free. You're welcome to the public to come in. You can get more information uh, in the Arizona Informant. In the Arizona Informant. Absolutely. Okay. That's February. That's February. That's, uh, what else is going on? Well, you know, a lot of people, and I don't know if we can go through this pretty quickly, uh, had, that we lost uh, d during the, uh, okay. you know, from deaths in, deaths in this right. community. Two people here in Phoenix, uh, Dr. Bishop Henry Barnwell, who was an right. icon, passed away, a uh, great political leader, great church leader, mm -hmm. uh, did a great thing when we lost him in last year. And then our, our own religious editor, Florence Darby, who worked with the newspaper for almost 35 years, wow. passed away as well. Okay, mm -hmm. all right, all right. And, and well, since we're looking at 2018, mm -hmm. we've lost a couple we this lost. year that uh, 
is very significant too. Oh, yeah, we lost uh, Bishop uh, Alexis Thomas. Mm -hmm. uh, he, uh, unfortunately, a young man, 50 years old. Absolutely. Uh, had, had lost him. We didn't expect to lose him, but uh, you know, when you get the call, it's that time. He did a lot of great things in the community, built a small church into one of the largest congregations the in the church. state. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Great man. Okay. Great man. And Uncle Don. Yes, my, uh, we lost Dr. Don Campbell, who's yeah. uh, also a former president of the Maricopa Community College School Board District, uh, 83 years old as well. Uh, we lost him right, right before the end of the year, so uh, we're losing some good ones. We're losing some good ones. Yeah, time goes on, man. Time goes on. Okay, Clovis, uh, what do we got uh, in terms of this rodeo? When is the rodeo taking place? It's going to be a great time. We've got uh, March the 10th. Uh, tickets are only 15 bucks. Uh, it starts with two shows, 1 o'clock and 7 o'clock at the Wild Horse Pass, which is out off of the I-10 I going east. Mm -hmm. um, they're going to have cowboys, cowgirls, everything you can see, uh, rope, roping, bull riding, bronco oh, wow. busting, the whole nine yards. It's going to be a fun family event. Bring the family and have a good time out there. And that's March 10th. March 10th, the Arizona Black Rodeo. If you need more information, go to ArizonaBlackRodeo.com. And that sounds like a Saturday. That's a Saturday. So it's you definitely don't have to worry about missing work. <laughs> you can go and be there. And no, so we forth. try to make sure it's open and people have enough time to get out there. And Very check good. It out. Close Calvin Jr., thank you so much, man. This is about the 10th or 12th time that we've done this, and uh, I really appreciate you and, 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 and bringing these top 10 stories, especially. We appreciate being about what's here going and on. being invited by the Urban League and looking forward to seeing you next year. Very good, very good. I'm George Dean, President and CEO of the Greater Phoenix Urban League, and we'll talk with you next month on Urban Connections.